Kelly Chibale is an organic chemistry professor at the University of Cape Town, and he explains the health implications if a patient is infected with both coronavirus and malaria. Firstly, it's the impact of COVID-19 on not just the malaria as a disease um, in terms of um, the clinical symptoms or the pathology, et cetera, et cetera, but it's also about the impact on the performance of malaria medicines um, in terms of their effectiveness. But it's also the other way around, is the impact of malaria on COVID-19 and or the impact of malaria medications on COVID-19. So often when you have comorbidity, um, one disease can enhance um, the other disease. Because of the downturn in the economy uh, and, and of course people losing jobs, of course then malaria medications uh, can become um, uh, very expensive and most of the, the poor communities can really not afford them. Uh, and that is also the impact of the COVID-19. Apart from the fact that people are not easily able to access uh, malaria medications, it's also that then they could resort to other measures, for example, self-medication, self-medication or relying on untested remedies um, for malaria, which could have um, you know, serious negative consequences on the disease, including the development of uh, resistance.